Alzheimer's disease is a largely late onset neurodegenerative disease that culminates in death. This form of dementia has the highest death rates in Finland, Iceland, the US, Sweden and the Netherlands, with about 800,000 sufferers in the UK. There is currently no cure and it is predicted that by 2050, 1 in 85 of us will suffer from Alzheimer's disease. It is characterized by the failure of recent memory and intellectual function, such as attention, language, orientation, etc. Alzheimer's disease manifests due to the progressive loss of neurons in the brain. This is most apparent in the neocortex, limbic structures, especially the hippocampus and amygdala, and some of the brain stem nuclei. The two main histopathological features are senile plates and neurofibrillary tangles. Their formation disrupts and eventually kills neurons. Here is a healthy synapse between two neurons in the brain. In Alzheimer's disease, a protein called beta amyloid is incorrectly created, and nucleus has dense plaques which distort cells in the vicinity and disrupt synapses. They aggregate with other abnormal proteins such as isoforms of APOE, and also they engender the creation of tangles in the neurons which disrupt the cell's vital cytoskeleton. The entire process may be initiated by an imbalance in BDNF and pro-NGF signaling, as older brains produce more pro-NGF. This can initiate inappropriate cell cycle re-entry and increase Alzheimer's disease gene dosage. With time, the plaques and tangles grow and spread, leading to neuronal death. Now, let's look at a non-Alzheimer's case of neuron death. Here, microglial cells, resident immune cells of the brain, clear cellular debris and carry out immune defense roles. We propose to use these mobile brain cells as a chassis for a circuit of the great amyloid plaques. To do this, restriction enzymes will cut a plasmid at specific sites, allowing our genetic circuit to be inserted and to achieve a recombinance. Mammalian microglia will be transfected to these plasmids and introduced to the brains of Alzheimer's disease patients. Engineered microglia are naturally drawn to the plaques will bind to them the signal of an attractant and the plant hormone auxin to draw in other engineered microglia. High levels of auxin will induce plaque localized expression of a deactivating agent to avoid inflammation mediated by the microglia themselves, as well as BDNF to balance and protect surrounding neurons, as well as a protease which will cut up the insoluble amyloid protein and so disperse the plaques. Theoretically, whilst this will not restore loss functions directly, will hopefully store the progression of the disease and help to preserve the cognitive integrity of sufferers, preserving memory against age.